Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So according to Microsoft, we have just a couple of months left until Windows 10 reaches its end of support on the 14th of October this year. And although that is the case, Windows 10 is still more popular than Windows 11. And if we head over to the latest StatCounter server results for December last year, as I've posted in a previous video, here we can see Windows 10, the market share according to StatCounter is almost on 63% and Windows 11 on 34%. So Windows 10 has still got quite a lead in its market share compared to Windows 11. And as I've mentioned previously on the channel, with so much market share still remaining, I seriously doubt Microsoft is going to end support for Windows 10 in October this year. But obviously that remains to be seen. Now, regarding this market share, it does seem now that there are plenty Windows 10 users who would like to migrate to Windows 11. But because of the strict hardware requirements, their PCs don't support Windows 11. So and they were unable to upgrade. So obviously this has caused quite a lot of frustration um, with users. And if we head over to this post over on Reddit, Microsoft please support Windows 11 on older PCs, which was from two days ago. Yeah, we can read uh, in this paragraph, they say support for Windows 10 will end in October 2025. The best way would be to upgrade to Windows 11, but millions of people cannot upgrade because of the obstacle Microsoft made with requiring TPM2 and only new CPUs while blocking out any PC that doesn't meet these requirements. This can also be seen in the high market share that Windows 10 still has, as I mentioned um, from StatCounter. So there is quite a lot of frustration, and it does seem that if the hardware requirements were lowered, um, that I think there would be quite a few Windows 10 users who would upgrade to Windows 11. And then something else just to mention is that if we head over to this petition, which is quite an old petition. I mean, it started on the 26th of June, 2021. And that was even before Microsoft released Windows 11 to the general public. So even before Windows 11 rolled out, uh, there were... Um, there was quite a bit of frustration regarding the hardware requirements of Windows 11, meaning that a whole lot of Windows 10 users, uh, including this PC I'm currently um, filming this video on, cannot be upgraded to Windows 11. And it says here that Microsoft's decision to cut older gen Intel Core CPUs from the 7th gen downwards from being able to officially run Windows 11 seems to be the wrong decision. So there's quite a lot of frustration out there. And I'll leave this post on Reddit and this petition if you'd like to go um, sign the petition and so on. I'd leave that um, both of these posts down below uh, in the description. And it says here that Microsoft please reverse this decision or make it clear that older processors can and will run Windows 11 or the day of Linux desktop might finally arrive while Mac users will laugh and enjoy Mac OS 12. So this was obviously back in 2021. But nonetheless, um, I've seen in the comments on this channel, there is quite a lot of frustration with um, the fact that Windows 10 cannot be upgraded to Windows 11. But nonetheless, getting back to the point, um, we have less than nine months until Windows 10 reaches, reaches its end of support. So do you think that Microsoft will kind of come up with a solution before that end of support date, given the fact that obviously there is frustration during the rounds online and Windows 10 still has quite a significant amount of the market share? Do you think that they will come up with a, a said solution? And obviously they have um, provided the ESU, the Extended Security Updates Program, which will cost you $30 for an extra year. Which, by the way, they are not advertising. Microsoft has been very quiet about the extra support for um, home users and consumer editions of Windows 10. They've been very quiet regarding the fact that they have provided an extra year of support because obviously Microsoft is trying to get as many people over 
onto Windows 11. But nonetheless, do you think that they will come up with a solution? And do you think that they will end support for Windows 10 officially on the 14th of October? And let me know down below in the comments. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.